I'm Jonathan Ayers with Networked for Success, and today we're going to talk about what is computer memory. Well, gosh, computer memory, hmm, that's a great subject because there are so many different types of memory that your computer actually has. What's the most common one we all think about? Well, I guess we all think about storage space. We've got thousands of photos. Where are we going to put them? Let's put them into memory. What type of memory is that? Most likely a hard drive. And today we have hard drives that have just gotten huge in size. 320 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes, a terabyte. These are huge numbers. You could store 100,000 photographs on a hard drive that size. And that's what we think about when we think about computer memory. We think about hard drives. But let's talk about other types of memory. We also have what's known as random access memory or RAM memory. And this memory is used for all of the actions that you do when you're on the computer working, whether you're surfing on the internet, writing a Word document, using a program to draw pictures, whatever it is that you're doing. You could even be editing photos. This random access memory allows you to perform these functions repetitively very, very quickly by having the memory take the instructions in and out very, very quickly, whereas a hard drive is actually slower. Now, another type of memory that we have on a computer is called video memory, and this is memory that is specifically used for video display. So when you want to show pictures, your computer is going to have to perform certain functions in order to get that picture displayed. Now, if you use the computer for that, it could be slower than if you had a separate dedicated card that had its own memory and you could put these instructions into that memory and then when you ask for the photo to come up that card would separately take care of that activity very very quickly and display the photograph for you. So there's, there are a couple of different types of memory in computers um, that computers use and um, all of them have their specific function but the one we're most familiar with is the hard drive memory.